NBA analyst Kendrick Perkins into this conversation because Perk, you played for the Celtics organization. What were your thoughts on this message here? Well, <clears throat> well, one to me, I, I I didn't like Brad comments on this, and let me explain why. Not the, the fact that he was taking up and protecting the women in the organization, but you know, he said about the speculations and the, and the Twitter BS and things to that nature, and how unfair it was to the women in the organization that is not involved with this particular situation. And I get that, right? But why is it speculations? It's speculations because of the reports that were put out by the actual Boston Celtics. So they didn't do a great job from the jump of actually protecting the women in their organization because knowing that they were going to sit up here and and, and, and give out this information and go out here and, and uh, suspend Ime Udoka and, and talk about just give a little details, it's going to have people speculating. And in my eyes, I feel like the Boston Celtics dropped the ball not only in protecting their entire franchise, but in t protecting the women as well. They should have made sure that they crossed their T's and dotted their I's before they put this information out. And I get it. Now we're to this point, and now he had to go on here and he had to say this and he had to say that to protect those innocent women. But at the end of the day, man, it just ain't right how they went about it. The word accountability, okay? Accountability doesn't just go to Ime Udoka, okay? Okay? Accountability goes to the other people that play the part in that as well. Let me tell you another thing I didn't like about my good friend uh, Wick Grossbeck and Brad Stevens in this press conference when they asked, is anybody else going to be punished? And they said no. And my whole thing is, is this, right? These are some of the facts that have been out. These are some facts that I know that, you know, this relationship, one of these relationships that was had that was had with Ime Udoka and one of these women, it was consensual, meaning that, this woman actually played a part in it too. So my thing is, yes, Ime Udoka was wrong. We get that. His punishment, he deserved that, and whatever else follows, I hate it for him, but he put himself in this position. But why are the other people getting left off the hook? Well, That's the Kendrick, problem that I have Kendrick, right now. Kendrick, Everybody got to be held Kendrick, accountable. I think that we need to circle back to what Shanae said, is that there was a investigation that was conducted by an independent law firm here, and without, I think that transparency is what will rule the day here. And so without having all of the information, it is unfair and irresponsible of us to go and to speculate on that because what we have to... Well, I'm, not, I'm not speculating. Sure. I have the information. I'm mm. not speculating. But what we have to go with here is the fact that an independent law firm came in, did this investigation, and the facts that they were presented, they came to the conclusion that Ime Udoka violated a policy that's, that warranted a one-year suspension. And I share your frustration with the lack of transparency while understanding that there is some things that they need to, from a legal perspective, keep private. But knowing all of that, understanding all of that, we have to come to the a conclusion that whatever rule, the conduct that was broken on one side, it is not the same on the other side. I thank you for your perspective. Uh, we, we First, she calls out Stephen A. Now she completely shuts Perk down. He had the information, according to him, and that doesn't surprise me at all. Kendrick Perkins is someone well known in the Celtics organization, but she still got upset, shut him down. She took him off the air. This is what happens when you have everybody agree all the time on ESPN. Ain't that being done to a brother? Because I got news for you, America. There's plenty of white folks in professional sports that's doing their thing. And I say that not complimentary. I don't see the information out about them. Why are we talking about this now? We got to talk about it because it's the news. Ain't none of our damn business unless you fire him. But if you keep him, it's none of our business. Mm -hmm. It should have never been. It should have never been put out there by the Celtics organization. And don't tell me you didn't do it. Because you absolutely did it. Because news reporters got it. So it emanated out of Boston. Somebody ain't in L.A. or Utah or something leaking this stuff about the Boston Celtics. Right. This is on y'all. You shouldn't have been out here. That's what I have to say. Normally I'd be chopping it up on ESPN with you guys about this, but I'm off until next week. But I definitely want to touch on this email Udoka situation. Just saw the year, <laughs> a year suspension was just handed down by the team for an inappropriate consensual sexual situation with a female that worked in the organization. I've been in the league for a lot, played in the league for a long time. Anyone who played in the league could tell you this is a very 
common situation. This is not new news for people who've been in the league or even around organizations. I've seen it from owners to executives, to coaches, to players, to trainers, to therapists, to dancers, to PR ladies like, this is not uncommon. And to just bring some context to it, the NBA just suspended Sarver for all the shit he did and he they won't come out and say it. And since I'm a part of the media now and I try not to be like everyone else, uh, I try to, you know, report and talk with facts and, and, and honesty. And I clearly have to say last night, uh, without knowing all the facts, I spoke on Ime Udoka's defense. And after finding out the facts after I spoke, I erased what I posted because this situation in Boston is deep, it's messy, it's a hundred times uglier than any of us thought, and that's why I erased what I said. Uh, some things happened that I can't condone, I can't back, and it's not my place to tell you what happened. If it ends up coming out, it ends up coming out. But that was the reason why I erased my post last night because after I posted it, I got a call from someone who had all the details. And if I could first start start with this, Stephen A. With all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. What what became apparent to me in this press conference is that we do not have all of the information here. The point that I'm trying to make. Is just you like you're not mentioning. Would if excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I listen to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Okay, that's number one. Let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody, but Ime Udoka. He deserves. The fact of the matter is, I've said he deserved to be fired if they were going to fire him. If you're not going to fire him, then don't fire him. My issue is all of this being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make is just you like you're not mentioning. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I listen to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. OK, that's number one. Number two, I've already said he deserves to be fired or he deserves what to, to be there and handle it internally. And privately, if you're not going to handle it privately, if you're going to publicize it in that fashion, then obviously it provokes everybody wanting to know, OK, well, who are the parties involved? When you have Amina Smith in Boston and other women pointing out the fact that there were women who were wrongly implicated in all of this, it's a disservice to them. I didn't come out with the report about a consensual relationship. I didn't come out with the report ahead of time leaking that we were they were going to suspend him for the year. They did that. And my point is, considering how pervasive this kind of stuff has 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 existed in professional sports for many years. My whole point is, is that, excuse me, make sure that you handle it in the same fashion. It has always been handled. You could have fired him. And then we could have speculated till the cows come home, but he's gone. But to keep him there, keep him employed, but in the same breath, suspend him for a year. Then also that year is indefinite. That is the issue that I have. Nobody's trying to protect Ime Udoka. And certainly nobody is trying to protect uh, uh, is to is to excoriate the women involved or anything like that. I'm talking about how things of this matter are usually handled from an HR perspective, from an organizational perspective. That is not consistent with what we have seen throughout the years. That is the only point that I was trying to make. I'm not trying to attack anybody. And if anybody deserves to be attacked, it's Ime Udoka for putting himself in this position. I've made that very clear. I'm just talking about you got owners and everybody else. They know the kind of stuff that's going on. You didn't say anything about anybody else. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. They didn't say anything about everybody else. Mm. All the other times this stuff has happened. But now when it comes to him, it's all over the place. That is my issue. That is my only issue.
past three seasons after spending the previous three seasons at Fairmount State. And he played for West Virginia between 2006 and 2011 and now could become the NBA's youngest head coach at 34 years old. And we'd be remiss not to also mention that Missoula was arrested twice at West Virginia, once in 2008 for underage drinking and aggravated assault. He pled guilty, paid a fine, and then again in 2009 for domestic battery after an incident at Morgantown Bar. The domestic battery case never went to trial. It was settled in August of 2009. He paid a $100 fine and court costs, plus had to do 40 hours of community service. Now, that was 13 years ago. He settled and paid both fines. So, Woj, why are the Celtics choosing him as their next head coach? So, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Bullis Gotti. So this video I'm about to do was about the whole Ime Udaka situation, um, Malika Andrews and Stephen A. Smith going back and forth, and she making it a political agenda, you know, pushing that feminist narrative. So let me just say this about the whole Ime Udaka situation. Um, looking at the whole situation... You know, um, hearing about the whole situation, him being, the, you know, losing his job as the head coach of the Boston Celtics. From a scandal that really, I get him smashing the trainer. I get that. I get him smashing shorty. I get that. But... It's like, was it worth it to smash the vice president's wife? Like, at that point, it's like an ego thing. I feel like emo, Udaka was on some emo. He was on some ego-driven situation. Like, and it's like, damn, dog, you got the the finest woman in the in the game, knee alone, dog, and then you you smashing the the vice president's wife. You know what I'm saying? You you already smashing the trainer chick. You already smashing her. Now you smashing your boss's wife. It's like, damn, son. Like, it's like, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. And, and, and the thing about it, Emo Adaka, you know, in my opinion, you know, he had to, he had to resign. He had to, he had to because to be in a no-win situation that he's in, and now he had to go through what he's going through, it's sad, man, because I'm going to keep it real with y'all, right? To lose your career, right, as the head coach. Your team went to the NBA Finals, right? And then to lose your job the the next season because you sleeping with your boy's wife. That's crazy, man. That's wild. You know, and I, I get it, man. I, 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 I get it. But Emo Udaka should have known better, man. He he should have known better. He really should have known better, man. He really should have known better, man. That's that's like, damn, son. Like I get, like I said, I I get smashing shorty. You know, I just can't understand. Like, damn, those like you smashing the boss's wife. That's crazy, dog. Like, how you smashing the boss's wife? Like, I remember when Isaiah Thomas went through the same scenario, right? And he got snitched on. You know, he got snitched on. And the whistle got blown on him. He was getting his smashing on, and then the whistle got blown on him when he lost his job as the head coach of the New York Knicks so to see that happen again 
deja vu with Emu Yudaka is crazy, my nigga. Like, like, damn, dogs. Like, really? You gonna risk it all? Got the fine wife at home? You won't risk it all? On the... On the boss's wife? Like, it, I'm gonna keep it real, man. Like, in my opinion, I feel like... It's a crazy... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy situation. It's a lose-lose situation. It's a, it's a wild situation. Cause like, damn son, you got the, you got Nia Long at home with her fine ass nigga. You, you ready to blow it all, nigga? You know what I'm saying? You ready? To, you ready? To, uh, uh. But I get it, dog. Like, he ain't care, son. My nigga ain't care, son. He like fuck it. I'ma smash the boss wife. I'ma smash, you know, the the trainer. I'ma definitely smash the trainer, and I'ma smash the boss's wife too. Son, yo, son had his cake and ate it too. I can't, I can't find he he ate his cake. <laughs> like he really, he really, you know, he, he I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. Like he really was also some supreme ragged type of game, nigga. You smashed the trainer and you smashed the boss's wife. He lost his job to two women. That was his co like one was his colleague, the other one was his boss wife. Vice president. Man, kid, he was all up in her guts, nigga. Like, yeah. I can't I can't play hate him on him. But it's like, damn, son, that's uh it's a, that's a That's like damn son, like now you out of a job, man. It, it, that's that's the thing. Even when you doc was wildin', son. He he was wildin', man. Cause the homie out of a job just was just for smashing the, the boss's wife. Like, my nigga ain't gave a fuck. He just risked it all, son. He ain't give a fuck. I understand, niggas, man. But damn, son. Like, homie ain't gave a fuck. He didn't care, son. Like, dogs. Look. That's a crazy thing, right? To have a mistress. It's one thing to have one mistress, those. It's another thing to have two mistress. And both of them work at the same place. One is the boss's wife. The other... <coughs> is... Your colleague that you work with. You know, it's like, damn, son. Whew. Man, it's crazy, man. He slept with the, the team travel planner, son. That's crazy, son. And then he slept with the boss's wife. That's the thing. I was like, damn, nigga, he slept with the boss's wife? Like, I had me scratching my head when I heard that. I'm like, damn, nigga, you really risk it all, son. You fumbled the bag. He fumbled the bag. I ain't gonna lie, son. He lost it all. He lost Neil Long. He lost his job. He smashed the VP wife. And he smashed the T, the T travel plan. Now, that's crazy. Two women caused this man to lose everything, man. That's crazy. That's crazy, but, you know, shout out to the homie, man. Emu Yudaka, man, shout out to him, bro. You know, shout out to him. I, I can't even knock him, man. I, I, it, <laughs> I can't even knock him, man. 
It is what it is, man. But let me talk about Malika Andrews. Now, I didn't like what Malika Andrews did. And uh, shout out to Stephen A. Smith for putting Malika Andrews in her place. Because she really was trying to, like, like try to, like, scold Stephen A. Smith and was trying to disrespect black men, you know. And I didn't really like that, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really like that. You know, it's a lot of these women out here, black women in general, that did they could, like, disrespect and, and scold black men on platforms, you know. You know, you go after the head coach, the new replacement head coach, which I didn't understand what was the reason for going at the replacement head, the interim, you know, head coach of the Celtics, you know, which that didn't make any sense, you know, to go at Joe Mazzula like that. It, it, it didn't make no sense. You know, I felt like, you know, she has been on a really, 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 like, and a lot of these black women, man, they they get in these positions and they like the election. I'm going to be talking about Fox Soul with Cynthia G. But you have sisters that get on these platforms and they think they could just disrespect black men and think they could just talk to black men disrespectfully. Okay? And, and the thing I don't like is is that you 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 want some shaming tactics of black men, you know, with the whole Emu Udaka thing, the tit for tat with that, and then the go at Joe Mazzula, which didn't make any sense. What was the attack against Joe Mazzula for? He's an interim, you know, coach at the time, and you going at him for what reason? He ain't doing his job. You talking about his criminal right, his criminal history? Like, what was that all about? You know, you bringing up somebody's past for what reason? You know, that, 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 in my opinion, this is what I don't like about our people and black women in general, man. You know, why is y'all got to always do that? Look, let's keep it real, right? Malika Andrews got her job, right? They went at Sage still, right? They went at Sage still. They went at Rachel Nichols, right? Rachel Nichols, right? That I think Malika Andrews took Rachel Nichols' spot, right? Everybody was ra railing for her, right? They was railing, yeah, Malika Andrews, and, and she's going to be the replacement of Rachel Nichols, right? She became the replacement of Rachel Nichols, right? I think Rachel Nichols was damn sure better than Malika Andrews. And everything that she said was not a lie. She said a lot of facts, Rachel Nichols. You know, but they had a problem with her because she was a white woman, which didn't make no sense. And now, you know, you got the same black Twitter that was railing for Malika Andrews to get a job is now saying, oh, yeah, we got to fire you, fire your Malika Andrews. No, nah, but y'all was, was raving, ranting, and raving for her to get the position that she got. Now that she got the position, now y'all now all... Y'all don't want her to have it no more? Nah. Y'all can't y'all can't say y'all don't want her to have it no more when y'all was the ones that wanted Rachel Nichols fired. Y'all wanted her over of ESPN. Y'all saw what you see what I'm saying? This is what happens when when things bite people in the ass. Things like this happens. You know what I'm saying? Y'all attacked the Rachel Nichols to go. And defend Malika Andrews. And now you see how she do black men. You know what I'm saying? She's no different than the divestors. She already shows that she don't. She has a problem with black men. And she will attack black men. Joe Mazzula didn't deserve the disrespect that he got. But y'all. Like I told y'all. Y'all give these platforms. Y'all support these black women. Y'all rail for them, and then look, they kick y'all in the back on these national stages. And then y'all want to attack the Rachel Nichols and other women for these women that are bedwinches. 
y'all read y'all was all attacking Sage Still. Everybody was attacking Sage Still. They was like they was so happy for Malik Andrews. Now it's 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 all hell breaking loose on Malik Andrews. But that's what y'all get, man. That's what people get, man. Y'all y'all ask for it. Now y'all getting what it's like when the it's it's perfect example, man. And what these people get and what they ask for, you get what you ask for. You know what I'm saying? ESPN brings these beautiful women on there. Every I'm gonna keep it real, a lot of these women shouldn't be on there. Now it's women like like I said, Rachel Nichols, Sage Still, they you know, they do good on ESPN. I understand they bring it eye candy on there. But Malika Andrews, you know, who took the position from Rachel Nichols, who also took a position from, like I said, from Sage Steele. We gotta remember, Sage Steele had that. She took the she took a position in from them, and she got the position. And like I said, her anti-black men rhetoric just shows you y'all went all gun hold for her. Now y'all see what it is. Salute to Stephen A. Smith for putting her ass in check because she was being very disrespectful and she was trying to scold a man on his own platform. On his platform, she tried to scold him, which... That was crazy to me. That's asinine to me. Somebody could scold you on your platform, and that's your platform. That That's crazy. You know, but it is what it is, man. It's your boy Bullets Gotti, man. You already know what it is, man. You got to come with the real facts, man. Nothing but the facts, but that Emu Udaka situation is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's a crazy situation. And, you know, shout out to Stephen A. Smith for putting Shorty in check. Shout out to Kendrick Perkins. For also putting Malika Andrews in check because she was really getting flippy at the mouth. And she was really showing her self-hate and showing her bedwinch tactics on ESPN. It is what it is.